96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by BTC, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, Dunkin' Donuts, Fine Threads, John's Department Store, Joker's Wild, KFC, the National Insurance Board, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, Rise Bahamas, and Tropical Gyros. The Monday, March 27th edition of Talking Ads is on and popping your boy Naughty in your company right up until 6 p.m. Mr. Bruce, you want to bring me up in the headphones just a little bit, man? Just, just a little bit. I was, no, that's too much now. My God, you got me deaf myself. Right. I, I got it. I got it. I, 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 yeah, we good. We solid. Okay. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. We got lots to talk about today. Uh, normally, we check in with Abaco on Monday. I'm, I'm going to double check. I don't know if Roscoe's traveling today or if we will get uh, somebody zooming in from uh, Abaco. I know coming up right out of the first break. But before we get to that, let me jump in like we always do. Get you guys in a good place, you know, in a good space so we can chop it up on this Monday afternoon. All right. Uh, phone lines are open. 323-6232. 325 Three two five four two five nine. Phone lines are open. Text lines powered by BTC four two two GR nine six four two two four seven nine six. Stream us live. Take us wherever you want to go. GuardianTalkRadio.com. That's GuardianTalkRadio.com. Cable channel nine six nine. BTC Flow channel six one two. That's how you get it in. That's how you get it on. All right. Got the trivia for you lined up right now. You're playing four. Joker's Wild Party passes. Dunkin' Donuts coupons, KFC coupons, lunch at the near choice from Naughty Johnny's. Fully loaded bag. The bag is loaded. All right? And this is what you're working with to start it off. I could go so many ways with this, too. Wow. Mm-mm. Recent survey, Mr. Producer. Bahamian woman is just scandalous when they're ready, you know. Recent survey of 100 Bahamian women. One one and 50. Survey revealed that 18% admitted to doing this behind their significant other's back, either their, their spouse or their fiancé or their boyfriend. 18% have admitted to doing this behind their significant other's back. What is it? That is your mind-bending brain teaser. You got between now and the top of the news and the 5 o'clock hour to get your answers in. Recent survey, 100 Bahamian women between the ages of 21 and 50. 
18 percent or 18 out of 100 said they admitted to doing this behind their significant other's back. What is it? That's your mind bending brain teaser. You got between now and the top of the news and the five o'clock hour to get your answers in. All right. Um, no, boy, look here. Y'all, y'all off and running, but y'all wrong. Anyway, while y'all work on that, I'm going to work on this. The headliners. Who are us making headlines in the 242 are brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads. New arrivals in stock, both locations at Fine Threads. The uh, flagship store, top of the hill, Mackey Street, and the Southwest Shopping Plaza location. Both locations available for you Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Check them out online as well, finethreads.com. That's finethreads.com. Do your shopping online, then arrange for pickup at any one of those convenient Fine Thread locations. All right, here's what's blazing up the pages of the Nassau Guardian News and Views that matter since 1844. Big headline, Shantytown Appeal Filed. Groups and aired in judgment. Story by Kendia Dames, executive editor. Attorneys for a group of Shantytown residents who lost their bid before the Supreme Court to have the government's Shantytown eradication policy declared unlawful have filed an appeal to the Court of Appeals seeking a declaration that the decisions by Justice Cheryl Grant Thompson handed down in February are void, illegal, and of no effect. The residents are seeking a declaration from the High Court that the policy is unconstitutional. Among other reliefs, they're also asking the court to restrain the government for, uh, uh, or public utilities from causing any utilities to be connected in, uh, disconnected in shanty towns. In a ruling from February 10th, Grant Thompson declared the policy and the subsequent decisions were constitutional. And of course, that was uh, her referencing the actions of the government, the Minnesota administration at the time, to vacate the land they lived on. The judge also discharged the injunction she granted on August 3rd, 2018, which restrained the government from demolishing buildings in the shanty towns on New Providence or elsewhere in the Bahamas. So, listen, I, I get it. Everybody has the right to appeal. Those persons did appeal. I, I expect nothing less from someone who I consider a friend and a mentor, Mr. Fred Smith, KC. That's the due process. That's how this thing works. The biggest thing here that I don't want people to get missed in the smoke and the mirrors of all of this is that this is quite convenient for these shanty towns now to remain for a while. Let's see what pressure this administration puts back on the, the, the jurisdiction or the judiciary to get this Appeal heard and a decision made. Let's see if this administration is serious about the removal of shanty towns like they said they were, even though they gave us no time frame for the removal. And let's see how fast they wait for this appeal to be heard or agitate for this appeal to be heard so a proper decision can be made. Because right now, I don't see anything changing. If you look uh, back at, at what this present administration campaigned on, a big narrative they campaigned on, Bahamians of Haitian descent. We already heard the noise in the market prior to this from both sides of the, uh, of the fence on this same situation. And with no definitive timetable set for the, for the removal, now we're at an impasse again. How long is this going to last and how long are Bahamians going to be displaced in their own country? Let's go to the phone lines. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? <laughs> Talking Heads. Hey, Naughty. Hey. Uh, uh, can I give each other food? That's a good answer. That's not it. But that's a good answer. But no. Got to think about it. Call me back, all right? So we'll see how this all plays out. Because again, this is sub now. So you have to look at it. But from, you know, for lack of a better word, you know, the, the talks in the barbershop and on the streets and in the chat rooms, is, hey, this is a good opportunity for this administration to stall on this situation conveniently until it gets done. So let's see how, how, how serious they are about getting this uh, taken care of. Naughty, the government meant to stall and eradicate in the shanty towns. 
It was all a tactic to give the shantytown lawyers time to challenge the ruling. This administration is, is into political playing mind games. They lies too much. Let me check these other texts. And is this a winner? I might have a winner. So, let's see. Naughty, ain't nothing going to change, brother. This, the Bahamas is a giant dumpster fire. Ain't no government going to change nothing. Lawyers are always going to find loopholes to keep things the same until the end of time. No leader will do what's right for Bahamians. Naughty, I have a question. This may not be on, 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 you know, on topic today, but I still need to ask this question. Are dead people still showing up on the British registry like back in the day? <laughs> I got to double check that. Also, Naughty, are legal immigrants getting their papers during election or, or before they arrive? Wow, you're, you're rolling today. You're rolling today. Rolling, 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 rolling. It looks like I might potentially have two winners. Okay, I do. Uh, in all fairness, I, 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 I'm going to give it to both my Texas who said, get a secret tech credit card behind their partner's back. So if you texted in secret credit card without their partner knowing, you're my winner. All right, so I sent out two texts because I got two winners. I know who you are, so the rest of you, just calm yourself down, okay? Because I know already. I, I know already. I, I know. Naughty, I don't know who these PLP think they fool, and this is all a plan for that corruption. I already knew this was coming, but not exactly how. But now it's here. Boy, I guess you could say great minds think alike. Twelve left homeless after Bimini Fire. Story by Travis Cartwright Carroll. Nearly uh, an early morning fire on the sleepy island of Bimini ripped through multiple homes, leaving at least a dozen people homeless. Police on the island responded to the blaze in Porgy Bay after 7.30 a.m. Three homes were ablaze when officers responded, one concrete home and two wooden homes. And with the help of residents, the fire was eventually extinguished. There were no injuries or loss of life reported. Double shooting leaves one man dead. Police are on the hunt for two men suspected of killing a man and injuring another during a shooting on Finlayson Street on Saturday. Two men were sitting on a wall near a home around 10 p.m. when two armed men approached and began shooting at them. Both men were hit several times. When officers arrived on the scene, they found uh, two young men lying on the ground in the front, home, front of the home. One of the men died at the scene. The other was taken to the hospital. Police did not provide an update on his condition. Here we go again. Police investigating alleged suicide of an American tourist. Police said an American man from Michigan allegedly attempted to commit suicide inside the hotel room yesterday. His wife, who returned to the room at 11.18, found him lying on the floor in an unresponsive state with a number of empty prescription medication bottles nearby. He was led to take him to doctor's hospital. He was last listed in stable condition. Now, how you could be investigating an alleged suicide you mean that suicide attempt eh? Because if doctors not in a stable condition, that means they're still living. So an actual suicide didn't happen. But anyway, I, I, I digress. I digress. Uh, Petroleum retailers pledge decisive action. Fill up your car. Fill up your car. That's all I'm going to say. Mr. Producer, get us to the break. Fill up your car. Fill up your car. Flip side of the break, we'll pick up the buzz. Brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. The Global Warming was heating up the planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. Vote original, by the way. Thank you very much for those of you who have been doing it. You know how we do it. And then, of course, uh, I got into my Dunkin' Donuts coffee bag. And toward the bottom of it, we got your numerology report. All brought to you, of course, by the Island Game. I think you've been really maybe back in the building. We'll see. All coming up on the flip side of the break right here as the Monday, March 27th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Easter is right around the corner and the Nassau Guardian is partnering with the Easter Bunny to give something special to you. Would you like to give your child an Easter basket filled to the brim with chocolate bunnies, surprise eggs, gift certificates, and more? Then you should enter your child into the Nassau Guardian's Easter Coloring Contest. There are three different categories. 
5 to 6, 7 to 9, and 10 to 13. Deadline for entry is Monday, April 3rd at 4 p.m. Purchase your copy of the Nassar Guardian to get your Easter coloring contest sign-up form. I'll let your children color away and win one of three baskets filled to the brim with Easter goodies from the Nassau Guardian. The Nassau Guardian's Easter coloring contest. For more information, call 302-2370. Well done, Easter bunnies. Good job. Vaccines protect those we love the most, our children and our grandchildren. I vaccinated my children to protect them. Getting your child to protect them against diseases like polio, measles, whooping cough, and others. So protect your child today by getting them immunized. My grandchildren are vaccinated. You should do the same. Vaccinate your children and your grandchildren and make sure they are safe. Take advantage of the National Vaccination Catch-Up Campaign, March 25th to April 6th. Visit your nearest clinic weekdays between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. On Saturday, March 25th, visit us at the Red Cross, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on Saturday, April 1st, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., we'll be at the Mall at Marathon. COVID-19 vaccines are also available at all locations. This message is brought to you by Paco WHO, the Ministry of Health and Wellness, and USA. Experience the pure deliciousness of Dunkin's Glazed Donut Breakfast Sandwich. This sweet and savory breakfast treat stacks a fluffy egg and smoked bacon sandwiched inside a split plastic Dunkin' Glazed Donut. Make it a combo with lightly seasoned hash browns and your favorite freshly brewed Dunkin' coffee. Stop by your favorite Dunkin' today and take breakfast to a fun and tasty level with the Dunkin' Glazed Donut Breakfast Second. Refined style with elegant taste. Then fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, then fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and debonair everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video wanna step out and look great then fine threads is your place the fine style with elegant taste then fine threads is your place is your place is your place play with island games we making dreams come true play with island games we paying more out to you don't mind the noise in the market you get cash in your pocket Cause island games is spicy and spicy is tradition so when you play, play we put in bahamian's voice guaranteed to play island games. we like them mother jokers we've been here from the start from the bike to computer island games we can make your dream come true we playing with island games when i had got prostate cancer my family didn't know if i was gonna live at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and we set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there are no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number, they see you as a part of family. My life was a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment. Get your tickets now. Trial starts Saturday, March 25th to Monday, March 27th at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. Come support our young athletes as they strive to be a part of Team Bahamas to represent our gold, black, and aquamarine. Join us for the pep rally and float parade scheduled Thursday, March 30th, beginning at 4 p.m. to celebrate our team. For more information, email info at carifta50.com or call 808-GOLD. People, what you thinking? We want something different. Uh-huh. People, what you wanting? We want up the government. Hey. I can tell them no more slunkin'. I get tell them no more jokes. <laughs> I forgot. Going down Blue Hill Road, going down Village Road, going down Nassau Road. We want local government. We want local government. This is right. We want local government. Shut up. We want local government. We are called for local government. Sign the petition and find out more information at risebahamas.net. Original or hot and spicy? Feeling original? Think twice. Here's some precise advice. Always add the spice. <laughs> hey, that's great. Take your time, brother. I don't want you to run too far out with your spicy self. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mouth hot, but you still ain't got the right flavor. Listen, just like the colonel, I'm an original. You? There's a spicy come lately. You think so? Original. You could never. There's no winning flavor. They're all finger licking good. Only at KFC Nassau.
Talking Heads, the Monday, March 27th edition continues right now. Let's slide up into the buzz, all brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. And John's reminds you every Monday, every Tuesday, new arrivals in stock, ladies, so be sure to check them out. Both locations, John's Plaza Carmichael and the flagship store over there on Rosetta. All right, in addition to that, full selection for men, women, and kids, casual, formal, and athletic. All your workwear, all your fast fashions with all the accessories to match. And don't forget, John now, John's now has small home appliances and cookware available for you as well. So be sure to check them out, both locations, John's Plaza Carmichael and the flagship store over there on Rosetta today. And remember, John, serving you is a pleasure. Let's slide into the buzz. Naughty, why people... Why people just come all the way here to try to kill themselves? You're going to spend your money traveling 30,000 miles just to attempt suicide? That's crazy. Naughty, why did you say fill up your car, bro? Um, I'll be honest with you. I said fill up the car because petroleum retailers pledged decisive action. Bahamas Petroleum Retailers Association President Raymond Jones said yesterday retailers are set to take decisive action to cut their operating costs within the coming week after the government failed to live up to its word and address concerns regarding inflexible margins within a stated time frame. So obviously, I think uh, according to the petroleum retailers, the time for talk is over. So we'll see where it goes. What else has uh, got you guys buzzing? I'll be honest with you. Some of y'all didn't like my comments on the small cars over the weekend. But guess what? I don't care. You're still all right with me. I don't care. It is what it is. I said what I said. Y'all need to slow your roll in these little sardine cans round and round here. Are you thinking it's the Conk 500, like a new NASCAR event coming in? It's not going to happen. I want you to stay alive and enjoy your piece of car while other people want to stay alive and enjoy their car and their life. So slow your roll. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not telling you to don't have fun. Just do it responsibly. Do it wisely. And for God's sake, you be one of them tin cans, buckle the hell up. I like. Um, naughty of the gas stations act a fool and close. We selling gas, but you know you ain't selling no gas by me. You better go sorry, siphon your own gas and do what you can do, but don't come by me with no gas. No holla. But you got to keep an eye on it as to what the reactions are going to be, what the fallout is going to be. That is the major question. What is the fallout going to be? That is the major, 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 major question. Not where we are right now, where we are going. Naughty, you know, got me buzzing. This new appeal was expected. Absolutely nothing will change. Nothing will happen. It's all going to remain just as is. Naughty, why does this administration lie so much? Well, don't use the word lie. Say mislead. It's a nicer way of saying it. Why do they do it? Because they're politicians. I, I don't know. Maybe because they know they got us as the conk and we're going to keep re-electing them every five years so they really don't have to respect us as voters. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why administrations, past, present, and probably future, will lie so much or mislead so much. Maybe if you did what you said you're going to do on the campaign trail or come close to it, you wouldn't have to be so misleading and have so many smoke and mirrors and what had happened moments. We'll see what had happened. No, no, no. It's not a new... It, no, no, no. Don't try no Jedi mind trick on me, Texas. Naughty, you changed the old Naughty would have come up with that idea first. We missed the old Naughty. No, I wasn't trying to sell no gas by my house. That was... Uh-uh-uh. Now... What I might do is, like, buy gas jugs. And while you're in the land of gas station, try to, you know, sell you, you know, gas that way. Let me go fill this jug up for you and then put an extra 10 on top. You know what I mean? If it costs 50, say it's 60. Make a quick profit margin right there. And then people would just keep it moving. The lines would, would, would dissipate. Because I'd be working with obviously one pump attendant. You know, I come in straight up to him. We, 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 you know, we doing um, takeout gas. That's what I'm talking about. See, I'd probably come up with like takeout gas. <laughs> yeah. 
the show is live today. And I didn't know the credit card question before. It was bank account before. It was a secret bank account, not a secret credit card. Text her. There you go. Text her. Let me, let me prove to you that this is a live show. Pull over to the side of the road and stick your finger in your nose. Dig a booger. See? I, if this is not live, I, I wouldn't be telling you right now to dig a booger. And then if you pull it over and then you dig in a booger, then you know it's live. And you gullible bad. Because <laughs> you didn't have to do that. You could have just texted me back and said, no, naughty, I won't put my finger in my nose. And then we would have known it's live too. But since you did that, it's all good. But yeah, the previous question was secret bank account. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yes. Um, I was just about to text your impatient winning behind. So there it is. When I refer to my second winner, you are my second winner. You always get such attitude, but you always get all legal. See, you know, it's like not even cause a small car gang to gang you and run you off the road with this. this. Listen, man, you all need to get it together. Or... If you are really serious about seeing what your car could do and if it could fly, then meet me at the track. Let's paint some numbers on it and get the official Conk 500 going and see if we could turn it into a NASCAR race. No, not my last texter who texted in. I'm talking about uh, the prior texter. Catching the texter to it. That's what I call it. Texter to it. Yeah, boy, I tell you. I believe because your last name after a famous tennis shoe, you, 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 you really get boisterous on these texts, you know, and you just run right out. But I don't believe in no relation to that, to that, to that one. So take your time. <laughs> what time did the winning text come in, Naughty? Because I also had mentioned credit card. You know what I mean? You can always tell when they turn it into lawyer mode, eh, Mr. Producer? They ready to ask you for screenshots and whatnot. Text to two. That's right. That's another naughtyism. Spread it wisely. Let them know where you came up with it. Who came up with it? Um, naughty, don't let them stress you out, boy, because you're the best show we have right now. And thank you. I appreciate that. And I know you only said that because you didn't win today, but you've won multitude of times. Yeah, you're, 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 you're a Hall of Fame winner. I get it. I get it. See what the taxes are saying? I in my dreams. I wish I was related. Yeah, boy, you want some of that air money. I know. I know. I know. Hey, you can afford the call spicy all you want. I don't care. Call him. What do you do? Better hope he got minutes on his phone. You know me, I said originally you could call me 24-7-365. Anyway. I see you saw me in Dusk and Bahamas at sunrise this morning. I know. <laughs> Let's check out the global warming. How ironic. All brought we're heating up the planet in 60 seconds or less as we exit the bar uh, as we exit the bus, all brought you of course by John Shoes. Let's get up into uh, the global warming. We're seeding up the planet in 60 seconds. And that's all brought to you, of course, by KFC NASA. And don't forget, if you're hungry for deals, Crazy Tuesday tomorrow, man. You got five pieces of chicken for $10, two thighs, two legs, one wing, waiting for you at your favorite KFC NASA location. And, of course, you want all five pieces in the original. That's what I'm talking about. And as a matter of fact, simply, you know, go to vote.kfcnassau.com. Vote.kfcnassau.com. Rock the boat for the original, all right? And, of course, go to my, my Facebook page, Naughty Got Jokes, Bahamian King of Comedy. Like the page and drop on a, a picture right there of you enjoying your original KFC. The most original submission go in some awesome prizes from KFC. Huge, big stuff, sandwich pillow, bean bag style, off the chain. You've got the beach bags with T-shirts. And, of course, I'm hooking you up with a ton of them KFC gift cards so you can get your KFC original on. All right? All right. Now, with that being said... Let's jump on in and see what's heating up the planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you by KFC Nassau. Everything but the girl, Tracy Thorne and Ben Watt are back together again after a 24-year break. Daniel Radcliffe and Aaron Drake, who have been together for a decade, are due to become parents later this year. Reese Witherspoon and husband Jim Toth announced difficult decision to divorce days before their 12th anniversary. Britain's King Charles was supposed to visit France this week, but has, his visit has been postponed due to national rioting and protests. 
A Tallahassee principal was forced to resign after parents complained that Michelangelo's statue of David is pornographic and shouldn't be shown to sixth grade art history class. Oh, Lord. NFL to discuss flex scheduling in an effort to fix Amazon's Thursday night football mismatches. Mark Zuckerberg and his wife, Priscilla Chan, welcome baby number three. Panera is going to try out Amazon's new palm scanning technology that would allow you to pay with a scan of your palm. Ugh. I don't know. Palm scan? Anyhow. Now the Harry and Meghan of Denmark, Prince Joachim, pronounced Yorkin. Prince Yorkin. It's spelled Joachim, though, Yorkin. I just want you to know that. And Princess Maria moved to the U.S. after being embroiled in a family spat over just how royal they really are. New Yorkers are complaining about the cost of a street hot dog going up from $2 to $3. Try to go get one hot dog here in the gas station anyway. You leave that alone. X Van Halen bassist Michael Anthony has revealed that he's formed a new band with Bon Jovi guitarist Phil X and current Aerosmith touring drummer John Douglas. Bruce Willis and his wife Emma Hemming celebrated their 10th wedding anniversary last week by renewing their vows. And that's pretty much it. That's a wrap right there on your global warming. We're seating up the planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. And, of course, let me remind you, as I slide into my Dunkin' Donuts coffee break, because you know I runs on Dunkin', I'm about to take my coffee break and head to the break. A um, couple of big things back at Dunkin'. All right? Yes. Hazelnut meets mochas with a new Dunkin' Hazelnut Mocha Signature Latte. Save the delicious coffee combination of smooth, rich espresso with silky chocolate and toasted hazelnut flavors, all topped with whipped cream, mocha drizzle, and chocolate powder. The perfect pick-me-up any time of day. So why wait? Head into your favorite Dunkin' location and get one now. Downtown Bay Street, Paradise Island, Palmdale, Bernard Road with the drive through East Street South with the drive through Carmichael, the newest location, and at the airport, pre-clearance and post-clearance. So no reason for you not to be running on Dunkin'. And right about now, as I get out of my Dunkin' Donuts coffee break and get ready to head to the break. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we got a couple minutes. We got a couple minutes before we get. We got a big return today. Turn up Cuban Willie with the numerology report. Yeah. Brought to you, of course, by the Island Game. But um, as I take my coffee break, um, Naughty, I just love KFC by the bucket. Well, if you love it by the bucket, mix it, man. Have a little bit of everything. Naughty, you see Braun try jumping the game when the Lakers was eight seed and still, hey, Texter, you need to bring that up in the five o'clock hour so we could talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Naughty off the record, why do you think Bahamians are not invested into the 50th anniversary? I went to the free concert and there weren't many people out there. Um, why are you going to ask me off the record if you're going to text me on a national radio show? If I answer you, I'll be on the record. So I'll text you off there with my answer, okay, Texter? And then that way I'll remain off the record. Thank you. But I agree, I passed around and I, I was on the weekend and did not look uh, very well attended. Now, we'll have Abaco back next week. I know Roscoe was traveling this week. I know Miss Reckley might be busy, and especially with the news that is broken today. I know my friends might be huddled up in Abaco trying to figure out what is going on and what's their next move. But anyway, don't forget... Um, Coming up in the 5 o'clock hour, we will be talking sports. I don't think Pearlie will join us today. Pearlie is actually traveling today, but Pearlie will be holding it down for me on the weekend. On Thursday and Friday, Pearlie will be in the building. I have to travel, so Pearlie will be here holding it down. All right. Um, Naughty, the Cool Effect was book solid. Yeah, I know the Cool Effect was solid, but I'm free concert. Anyway, let's go to the phone lines real quick. Talking Ads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, how are you? I can't hear you. You are worse than Destiny's Child. You want to have a Speak Your Mind show? Yeah, or what's on your mind? Like Every Wednesday, I open up the lines on Wednesday. That's, a, you know, so you can speak your oh, mind all you want on Wednesday. I mean, you can chime in whenever. I, I don't mind, but... Wednesday, I open up the lines for you to talk about whatever you want. I don't like that move that found this morning in her last show. In what? I don't know if it's only me one, but I don't like that. 
What what show are you referring to, Matt? Hmm? What are you referring to? I don't know. I smell a rock, man. Every time you have someone in you who's know, seeking sense and truth to power, for some reason, I don't know. But what what are you talking about? I mean, I don't know what show you're referring to and who you're referring to. White show, man. One of them, the farm. And, and what happened? Today was the last show. Okay. And, 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 I said my eyes are black to me. No, I mean, it, did she not have a, a, a career opportunity that might have been beneficial to her? She's a she That's it. Even for nothing, just for 10 years, I gone. Anyhow, I smell a rat. Only me one smell a rat, I smell a rat. Okay, well, keep me posted if you if you come across one. I Talking Ads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, who's this? Good morning, good, good morning. Good morning. Man, Sparky, turn on your radio, man. You plan to be a veteran talk show, uh, a Hall of Famer. Well, turn on your radio. You know, no, number one, turn your radio down. No, sometimes you don't know. The phone be ringing and ringing and ringing, and nobody answered. Then all of a sudden, you pop about it. All right, but make it quick, Sparky. I'm not a caller, and I got to get Cuban really on. So what you got? What you got for? What happened there? Call back, Sparky. Call back. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, no. Hey, what's going on, Jeff? Right here, my brother. Just tuning in a couple minutes ago. Listen, this matter with this, with this, uh, this, this migration thing again in Africa, you know, it seems every time the Bahamian people try to make two steps forward on this matter, finally trying to bring some head to this situation, this vexing matter that, you know, our parents and our grandparents have been dealing with over the years. And now we are at the threshold to make this difference. We got these uh, these people still here trying to uh, stagnate the process in terms of we trying to eradicate the illegal activities that's happening in this country. These shanty towns are illegal according to the law. I can't see how any lawyer could stand up despite the fact that this is an illegal act has been committed and trying to legitimize it by giving rights to people who have broken the law when we as law-abiding citizens are being told to toe the line to follow the law. I mean, what kind of what kind of foolishness is this in this country? You know, uh, the loopholes in our laws, and I'm very serious about this. They need to be closed. Uh, they, they need to be closed. They've been pointed out time and time again by the one learned attorney who seems to have the whole legal fraternity held as hostage, you know, and all these things are pointed out, but yet the, the 38 or the predominant party that sits in our parliament has not found fit to go in, in into our parliament and do the actual job that they're supposed to do. That is to amend and close loopholes and, 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 and these things as, as they have discovered. And yet, this thing is going to continue going forward until we get serious people who are going to sit in our court, I mean, in our parliament, and really do get down to the hard work that is bucking the system to right-size the system and get all of uh, get most of what we are enjoying in, into, a, into the frame of mind. Frame of mind, whereas uh, we can have some semblance of law and order finally in this country. Thanks for taking my call. Now. Always a pleasure, Jeff. All right, let's get to the break. As we get to the break, well, he's back. Uh, you're Cuban Willie, no longer MIA. He's coming at you right now. Can we take this call, Mr. Bredo? All right, let's get to the break. Call up. We'll have to get you on the flip side of the break. But right now, it's time for your numerology report. All brought to you, of course, by The Island Game. Be sure to check them out online, theislandgame.com. Check out all the ways to play, all the ways to win, and their awesome sports book. And remember, The Island Game always reminds you to play responsibly. Long time no hear from Cuban Willie. What's going on, Papa? Wepa! Buenos dias! Good afternoon! Good morning and good night, everybody. Long time no speaking. If you're totally Cuban Willie, mira, listen to me. The rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated, okay? I was not claimed by the immigration. I was not in the detention center. No, I did not die. I did not go back to Cuba. Listen to me, man. I've been planning some stuff down there with my good friend Spocky. A lot of people know me as Spocky. We friends. We drink the brown bottle. So we have a great. Amira, he got the farmland. 
I have the cut crop, you know, so we're planting a lot of peppers and limes and other things, you know, so I've been busy with a green thumb. That's all I'm talking about, okay? Okay, so today's number brought to you by the Island Game. And be sure to check out theislandgame.com. Check out all the ways to play, all the ways to win, and the sports book. And remember, the Island Game always reminds you to play responsibly. Pero mira, the free ball for today. Mira, I, I don't see you in about seven weeks. So it's seven I drank five brown bottles last night with my friend's Sparky before we plant some more catch crops. Okay, so the number is seven, five, and you know, I'm back for the first time in a long time, for the first time, so that's a number one. So today's number, seven, five, one, cinco, siete, cinco, uno, siete, cinco, uno, seven, five, one, box it and set it, forget it and bury it with the island game. And remember, The Island Game always reminds you to play responsibly. So until tomorrow, stay playing, my friends. The ultimate sandwich experience starts with a bite of the KFC Barbecue Glaze Zinger and a flavor explosion of crispy, juicy, 100% premium white meat spicy filet, KFC barbecue sauce, lettuce, cheese, and smoky bacon on a toasted brioche bun. The perfect balance of heat and sweet. You won't be able to resist the KFC Barbecue Glaze Zinger. Made by the fried chicken sandwich experts, the KFC Barbecue Glaze Zinger is available for a limited time. Try one today. KFC, it's finger licking good. Yard Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy styles, we cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online, www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on in today at John's. Where we put fashion at your feet. Fidelity, we're good for you. My business couldn't survive without my credit card machine from Fidelity. It's fast, convenient, and my clients love it. My sales increased, and I can track my earnings. Get your credit card machine from Fidelity today. Call 356-7764. When faced with an illness like cancer, we band together. And we at Cleveland Clinic in Florida have your back. From advanced cancer treatments to extra safety measures at all of our locations, we're with you on this journey. For every infusion and follow-up, for every step of the way, for every care in the world. Cleveland Clinic in Florida. Get the care you need when and where you need it. To learn more or connect with a local representative, visit clevelandclinic.org slash Caribbean. The B-Triple-A's 50th Carifta Trials are here. Get your tickets now. Trials start Saturday, March 25th to Monday, March 27th at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. Come support our young athletes as they strive to be a part of Team Bahamas to represent our gold, black, and aquamarine. Join us for the pep rally and float parade scheduled Thursday, March 30th, beginning at 4 p.m. to celebrate our team. For more information, email info at carifta50.com or call 808-GOLD. Stay tuned to this station for giveaways and Carifta updates. Experience a flavor explosion with the new Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich from Dunkin'. Loaded with juicy chicken, marinara sauce, a generous drizzle of pesto sauce, all topped off with melted cheese and served on a warm, flaky croissant. Made to order all day long, the Dunkin' Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich combo includes a bag of baked lays and a freshly brewed iced tea. Enjoy a taste of Italy in every bite. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Nassau, Bahamas. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Let's go to the phone lines. We're into the 5 o'clock hour. We're talking sports. But let, let, let me see what we got here. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, hey, chico, chico, amigo, amigo. Que es esto? Que es esto? I, I don't know, man. You you looking for Cuban Villiers? <laughs> Cuban was in I and out, man. I thought you was the guru on, on Spanish, man. 
Man, I am, but I mean, you know, if, if I gotta go to I will, coge lo suave, mi hermano, que cuando te pasa. Me estás Entonces, llamando el, el show hablando en español, esto no es Cuba, esto es Bahamas. Sí, 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 amigo, sí, sí, sí. Um, sí, listen, I'm uh, Jeff Demo Pines very well. But Jesus, my Lord, after 50 years, I'm, 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 I'm naughty, after 50 years, what we should be doing now is huddling to see exactly which direction we're going in in case the bell rings. Instead of Oh, piling and, 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 and squabbling over these fellas but, after 50 but years. my you brother, know? you you said, man, the bell ring. We ain't even two years into this administration really, really good. Normally, Bahamian, you know, voting populists, we wait till at least year three and a half, four before we decide uh, how to let new begin with. Why are we yeah, having so need, early, man? The honeymoon over naughty, that yeah, clock. Naughty, that we need to, naughty. If, if a battered woman, you've been battering a woman for 50 years, you ain't think her mind and made up where she going? Yeah. It's, it's time we make up our mind we be going and then lead them brothers let them finish whatever they can finish you gotta get out of this abusive relationship eh? exactly we gotta get out of the relationship with, with, with them two parties out of the gas we put the, 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 the gas retailers got it either they dead naive or something ain't right with them because if they don't know the big gas boys can go the price of gas what I always say connect the dots and follow the money You're smart that's man that's all They're they gotta man. do man But they, they just put, stop talking to the government. The government can't do nothing because the big gas boys control And them. that's why I said on this show a couple of times that maybe the Petroleum Retailers Association should partner with Joe Public, with me and you, who could feel the suffocation at the pump if things go another way. It, it, you, you understand? And now you have a that. mass. You have a big mass. You have the petroleum dealers and you have Joe Public saying, hey, if we don't buy no gas, what you could uh-huh. do then? Then when the bottom uh-huh. line is affected, them higher up guys, they can start yes, listening. Naughty, naughty, that is an excellent idea. Offer shares to the public. If they could, you know what I mean? Some kind of some, some kind of partnership or something, man. Jesus, man. And you mean to tell me they don't know snakes in the grass? Big snakes, anacondas? Yeah, but them big set. The big ones. Jesus, man. What, what, what's wrong with them? It's naughty. Now, listen. You know, some people that say the price of gas is contingent on, you know, tanker movement and government taxes added on. Yeah. And I get all of that. But at the end of the day, it's the same old, same old who control the fuel industry in this country. The naughty. Our fuel has come from shellware. And guess what? Ask the Bahamas, go way down to Barbados, jump on somebody else's boat to come back to the Bahamas. And you remember the other day when 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 oil spill was in Exuma and the, the pipe with the oil was going to all mess it? You remember that? Yeah. They never really had no closure but that. Who wrote that was for? They got snakes in the grass. Come on, gas dealers. But listen, Stop telling the government what you can do. If you can do something, just do it. But the government, the government says, you know, you know, they can't do nothing. They can't. If they reduce their tax, we'll feel it at the point. Listen, but they ain't trying to do that. We losing, in addition to, 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 to big monies in that gas thing, because we know who own all the big gas stations around here. It, we just have to pay almost $40 million a month to one of them big snake companies for lube oil. And I ain't paying them for the tanker with bringing the fuel back from Barbados. Come on, you fellas. Stop it, Damon. Stop it. Let's face this thing and let's do something about it. Thanks, man. Gotta wake up. Always a pleasure, brother. Be safe. Yeah, man. All right. So let's get up uh, into the sports. Good stuff first hour, though. You're always chiming in on point. You know? Good stuff. Now let's, let's get into the sports. And like we do each and every day, we'll start it off with today in sports history, all brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Well worth the trip out there to the 04 Chopping Plaza. Monday through Friday, great for lunch and dinner. Then on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast starting at 9 a.m. All right. And on this day, and don't forget happy hour every Wednesday, every Friday, 5 to 7 p.m. at Naughty Johnny's. All right? 377-7776. Give them a call, see what they got chefed up for you today and what's going on. All right, on this day, March 27th, in 1917, the Seattle Metropolis, Metro, blah, 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 blah. the Seattle Metropolitans of the Pacific Coast League of Canada defeated the Montreal Canadiens and became the first U.S. hockey team to win the Stanley Cup. 1980, U.S. President Reagan hosted a luncheon honoring the members of the Baseball Hall of Fame. 1989, 
Sports Illustrated exposed Pete Rose's gambling activities. The magazine's article alleged Rose bet on baseball from the riverfront uh, dugout using hand gestures with an associate. 1994, Magic Johnson became head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. He coached the final 16 games of the 93-94 season. 2007, NFL owners voted 30-2 to to make the video replay system a permanent officiating tool. Sports quote of the day, I know that I'm never as good or bad as any single performance. I've never believed my critics or my worshipers, and I've always been able to leave the game at the arena. Charles Barkley. Now, could you leave the buffet at the arena is the big question there, Sir Charles. Anyway, that's a different story for another day. All right, that's a wrap right there on Today in Sports History, all brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. And right about now, let's get up into the local sports scene, the home court, all brought to you, of course, by Burger King Nassau. Check out Burger King Nassau, man. They got a lot of great deals going on for you, but me not. That plant-based Whopper is off the chain. Want to try something different? Try that plant-based Whopper. It's everything that a Whopper is. They're only plant-based. And it's available for you at your favorite Burger King National location for takeout, drive through and delivery. It's crave it up. All right, number of qualifiers stores to over 50 for Carifta. Carifta trials, high school nationals wrap up uh, at the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium today. But as expected, and story by Sheldon Longley, our Guardian Sports Editor, uh, as expected, there have been a significant amount of qualifiers for the 50th Oak Tree Carifta Games over the first two days of the ICS Security Concepts of Bahamas National High School Track and Field Championships. Carifta trials adding to the 40 who had previously qualified. The three-day meet wraps up this evening at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium, uh, the same venue for the actual Carifta Games. So it's good that the kids qualified out there were actually going to be participating. And uh, as far as the high school nationals, in the overall school competition, the Sins College Big Red Machine are in a lead going into the final day of competition today with 354 points. Queens College Comets a second with 298 points. And the St. John's College Giants round out the top three schools with 123 points. The top government schools are the C.R. Walker Knights, who are fourth with uh, 103 points overall. Sundown Baptist Stingers lead the Family Island Schools and are fifth overall with 94 points. St. Reeves is the top junior school with 47 points. And, of course, uh, some more Bahamians bounced out of uh, the NCAA basketball tournament. We know Coach Yolette Mafie McQuinn went out in the uh, round of eight. All right. Well, actually, the Sweet 16 to Louisville. And like I said, we had three Bahamians bounce out. Frederick King uh, and the University of Creighton Blue Jays fell to the San Diego State University Aztecs 57-56 at the Yum Center in Louisville, Kentucky, in Elite Eight action on Sunday. Bahamian head coach for the eight-seeded University of Mississippi Ole Miss Devils, uh, Yolette Murphy McQuinn, and her team fell 72-62 in the round of Sweet 16, the Sweet 16 round. And they, uh, they fell to the University of Louisville. And then finally... Uh, Sports performance assistant coach Brian Clark Jr. and the number one seeded University of Houston Cougars were not able to hold off the fifth seeded University of Miami Hurricanes as they lost 89-75. So we're not glad to know we got Bahamians coaching on, on multiple levels over there. And, of course, you know, uh, Frederick King still got a couple of years left up there at Creighton. So we'll see uh, him progress with that program as well. But good to see, you know, young athletes doing their thing, getting back in the swing. And getting ready for Carifta, I think uh, it's all lining up to be, you know, something solid. A very good look for us, athletically, over the next couple of weeks. Listen, I appreciate your, your sentiments and all, but when you say Don good show and Sack is the best on your text, I, I know you just want to get that, that pearly side shot to, to throw that, that Sack jab in there. So just get to the point and just throw the jab. Slide it in there. Stick it in there. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, Naughty Sparks. He called you back. Hey, what's going on, Sparks? Yeah, let me ask you this question. Now, over the weekend, I was, well, you know, I was home convalescent. Right. Um, but I've been watching the Carifta, um show on Channel Zedness 
211 all weekend. And I, I, I really want to ask ZNS people, when we could get in touch with what year it is, <laughs> you, you know where I'm coming from? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Why get sit one? I'm watching the Carifta trial. And all weekend, all I doing is seeing things playing over and over and over, repeats and repeats. So but you need, you need more content. You want more content. You want more programming. You want I, I, programming. Want, I want to know what's happening now. I mean, I see um, um, Usain Bolt run more this weekend on TV. And that was when he was in the Bahamas in Carifta. And all I see the whole weekend is sadness to show you the same thing over and over all the time. Every Sunday morning, I got to watch Moses and Abraham and all of them. I mean, this is 2023. We don't have nothing in the Bahamas up to date. Let me ask you another question. I'm, I'm na- naughty. Watching the Carifta with all the pretty women out there with the, the, um, the marshals and all the officials and everything. With the beautiful um, uniforms, the white, the red hats, and the white blouse, and the, the red tennis, and the red pants, and things. What type of food are Bahamian black women eating these days? Because, naughty, everybody here is down to the back of their knee. Hold on, that don't have nothing with they, with they eating, Sparky. It's what they eating. You know what it's growing here? Protein. But how you know that's all protein growing here? How do you know that ain't some wet and weavy bulky number seven? But I'm trying to find out how come everybody in the Bahamas, the black women, everybody length of their hair is the same length from the top of their head down to the back of their knee. Then maybe you should go find the stylists who perpetrating them styles these days. I don't think that got anything to do with what they consuming. It ain't for their food. No, it's, it's, it's who, who, you know, style. I, I asked one lady the other day, she tell me that's her hair. I say, yeah. But she paid for it, to, so it's you, her hair. I, I say, yeah, because you forgot to take the receipt off your hair. The receipt's still on it. Have a good day. There you go, Sparky. You, you're just trying to get to that point. I know. I know what you say, Sparky. If it if it can't blow, you can't go, right? I, I know. I know. <laughs> it's Monday. Anyhow, I digress. Don't forget, we got uh, Rich Eisen taking us home on the final 10 today. And listen, the Lamar Jackson saga continues. Oh, it continues, and it rears its ugly head. As a matter of fact, we're uh, we'll slide out of the home court right now, and uh, we'll get into the uh, who's in and who's out. All brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. And big up to Chef Carmen, man. He celebrated his birthday over the weekend, so big up to Chef. Happy birthday to you, Chef. Enjoy this and many, many more, my brother. And don't forget, you got the, the flagship store, Mackie and Rosetta, open until 6. You got uh, the new location out there, JFK, R&D Plaza, in the West, open until 7. So get, go get your gyro on. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Talking Heads. Hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing? All right. Great, great. Listen, with the, uh, the match... Madness. Yeah. Let's go to Miami. Listen, you see that, eh? Larry Niaga got those boys playing some good good basketball. They got upset somebody. Listen, you know what I would think would be an awesome final just for the, just for the heck of it right now since it's been yeah. such a strange March Madness? Yeah. Is that uh, Florida Atlantic and UM in the final? Yeah, okay, okay. Because can't get no more Florida than that. You can't get no more South Florida than that. And like I said, you got dark horses galore. Miami is very poised, though. I agree with you. They play good offense. They play good defense. They're balanced. They don't get rattled. That comeback yesterday was, was, was awesome. But they've done that before. That's who they are. They've done it all season long. They've done it in the ACC tournament. They've, they've done it here. Yeah, so that's, in, 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 I, think, I think everybody uh, 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 took it yet mash up. In, in this go around, you Every, know? Eddie and the cousin on. Everybody got mashed up and blown up. <laughs> Every everybody. Another thing, I think I mentioned it before. If you could get uh, Sheldon to come in there and say something about the food, see because you gonna have folks who coming over here, and even right here in the Bahamas, they don't allow you to bring food in. Right. And so some people are vegetarian, some people are vegan. 
even the athletes. So what they can do about their food? Right. I mean, they, they got to have supplements and so on and so forth. Yeah, they you know they they gonna have to try to get some uh, uh, cooks in there who could do good uh, vegan and vegetarian. I, I, I'll food. talk. I'll talk to Sheldon, man, because you know I, I pass his office every day when I get off here, so I'll power out and chop it up. That's my boy. You know that. Okay. Great. All right. All right, but I appreciate you chiming in as always, man. Be safe and have all a right. good one, all right? Good. All right, Mr. Bruce, let's get to the first break, man. We'll get to the first break, and then on the flip side, we'll get into the uh, who's in and who's out segment, all brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. We'll check out the NBA, we'll check the NFL, and some hot stove news from Major League Baseball as they get ready to open Thursday night. And I'll be lucky enough to be there, I believe. Yes, indeed. Marlin Stadium. <laughs> We'll talk about that, all right? And don't forget, swirling out of the NFL right now, Lamar Jackson again has requested to be traded from the Baltimore Ravens. He's not going to sign any kind of contract with them. They're now looking for trade partners. And top of the list, the Atlanta Falcons. We'll be talking about that on the flip side of the break, and that'll be part of Rich Eisen's uh, final 10 as he takes us home today. Where's Lamar Jackson going to end up? That's all coming up on the flip side of the break as the Monday, March 27th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Easter is right around the corner, and the Nassau Guardian is partnering with the Easter Bunny to give something special to you. Would you like to give your child an Easter basket filled to the brim with chocolate bunnies, surprise eggs, gift certificates, and more? Then you should enter your child into the Nassau Guardian's Easter Coloring Contest. There are three different categories, 5 to 6, 7 to 9, and 10 to 13. Deadline for entry is Monday, April 3rd at 4 p.m. Purchase your copy of the Nassau Guardian to get your Easter color sign-up form. I'll let your children color away and win one of three baskets filled to the brim with Easter goodies from the Nassau Guardian. The Nassau Guardian's Easter Coloring Contest. For more information, call 302-2370. Well done, Easter Bunnies. Good job. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. Vaccines protect those we love the most, our children and our grandchildren. I vaccinated my children to protect them. Getting your child immunized can protect them against diseases like polio, measles, whooping cough, and others. So protect your child today by getting them immunized. My children are vaccinated. You should do the same. Vaccinate your children and your grandchildren and make sure they are safe. Take advantage of the National Vaccination Catch-Up Campaign, March 25th to April 6th. Visit your nearest clinic weekdays between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. On Saturday, March 25th, visit us at the Red Cross, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on Saturday, April 1st, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., you'll be at the Mall at Marathon. COVID-19 vaccines are also available at all locations. This message is brought to you by Paco WHO, the Ministry of Health and Wellness, and USA. Refined style with elegant taste. Then fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, then fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and debonair everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video. Want to step out and look great? Then fine threads is your place. Refined style with elegant taste. Then fine threads is your place. Is your place. Is your place. Original or hot and spicy? Feeling original? Think twice. Here's some precise advice. Always add the spice. <laughs> Hey, that's great. Take your time, brother. I don't want you to run too far out with your spicy self. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mouth hard, but you still ain't got the right flavor. Listen, just like the Colonel, I'm an original. You? There's a spicy come lately. You think so? Original. You could never. There's no winning flavor. They're all finger-licking good. Only at KFC Nassau. July, August, September. Bendy, what on earth are you doing now with all those red X's on the calendar? I verified in person for my NIB pension today, so I'm crossing out all the months until I have to verify again. Oh, yeah. By law, we are required to verify twice a year, in our birth months and then again six months later. 
it's important so we can continue to receive our benefit payments. Yes, the friendly lady at NIB reminded me that the verification forms are available online at select retail locations and that you don't even have to verify in person. Once a sanctioned authority certifies your form, it can be emailed to verification at nib-farmers.com or placed in the drop at any NIB location. NIB is making everything so convenient. The verification process is simple and it's all outlined on NIB's website and social media pages. At NIB, they're making it easier for you. The BAAA's 50th Carifta Trials are here. Get your tickets now. Trials start Saturday, March 25th to Monday, March 27th at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. Come support our young athletes as they strive to be a part of Team Bahamas to represent our gold, black, and aquamarine. Join us for the pep rally and float parade scheduled Thursday, March 30th, beginning at 4 p.m. to celebrate our team. For more information, email info at carifta50.com or call 808-GOLD. It's so rewarding with my Fidelity credit card. I get the best prices with price protection. Earn and redeem freedom points at my favorite stores. Get cash back. Plus, I book the cruise. Get your Fidelity credit card today. Call 356 7764. We're back at you right here on the Monday, March 27th edition of Talking Heads. And, uh, boy, let's jump on in. Because got lots to talk about, man. First and foremost, now you got a situation on the horizon out of the NFL. Lamar Jackson. The saga I told you was going to play itself out at some point. It was going to have to come to a head. It was going to have to, like a boil, it was going to come to a head. It was going to have to explode. And then and, and you got to have the cleansing process. And, well, I think that's where we're headed now because Lamar Jackson has requested a trade. Okay? And uh, I'll be honest with you. Um, Atlanta may be able to be, be able to put a package together. But now that, that Lamar's, you know, said publicly that he wants to be traded, Atlanta's at the top of the list because they got a lot of pieces to offer. But the Jets have now put their, 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 their little feelers out now you got to wonder what the, what the impasse is with Aaron Rodgers' trade. And now if the Jets may be interested in Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson would be a dynamic fit in New York with the Jets. But wait, there's more. I thought this was a joke when I first read it. But it's actually true. I'm getting it from Bleacher Report, Tom Pellicero from the NFL Network, and a couple other outlets. Pat's owner, Robert Kraft, said that uh, Meek Mill texted him about Lamar Jackson. Pat's owner said Meek Mill reached out last week to say that Lamar Jackson wants to join the Patriots. Robert Kraft said Meek Mill texted him Lamar Jackson wanted to come to the Patriots. Kraft said that would be Bill Belichick's decision. So there is a market, and at some point, he's going to have to get paid. He is going to have to get paid. All right? You look at it. At some point, somebody is going to jump in and make a bid on this kid. He's too talented not to. And it's gone from negotiation to now he wants out. So let's see where he ends up. And I would say keep an eye on those on those on those on New York Jets. All right, some of the landing spots that could potentially be the Atlanta Falcons. Now, they were one of the teams that publicly announced that they would not pursue Jackson when it all first came out earlier in the month. But now things have changed. Atlanta's undergoing a rebuild and is currently in need of a franchise quarterback. 
Lamar Jackson fits that mold. You put Ritter as your backup to Lamar Jackson, your number one pick from last year. That's how that goes. Jackson would fit the mold and then some, and he'd immediately put the, uh, the Falcons in contention for the top of that weak NFC South division. The Falcons also have cap space, the seventh most cap space available right now. And they still need to add pieces around Lamar Jackson if they brought him in. But my God, you start with Drake London and Kyle Pitts. That's a good building block to start. And you got the running back by committee situation with Cordero Patterson. It's serviceable. It's doable. Atlanta is definitely in contention for that. The Carolina Panthers are another one that if you look at that situation now, they own the first round pick. But who's to say Baltimore wouldn't trade that pick right away for a first round pick? And remember, Baltimore put the non-exclusive franchise tag on this kid. Okay? So from they did that, they were opening up for business. They really were looking for a trade from the break. So who are those suitors going to be now? We already addressed Atlanta. How about Carolina? Similar to the NFC South rival in Atlanta, the Panthers are in rebuild mode and add priority number one is, is their unsettled situation at quarterback. They need a franchise quarterback. And once again, Jackson would be exactly what the doctor ordered. Now, Carolina is currently equipped with the number one pick, like I said. So that, that's always something you could dangle there. And, uh, and if the Ravens wanted to rebuild with a young starting quarterback, they can. You trade Lamar Jackson to Baltimore for that first round pick. Carolina gets M- Lamar Jackson and they, they continue with their franchise. And the Ravens could start with a Bryce Young or a C.J. Stroud. It's a win-win for everyone. Now, the problem is Carolina gave a ton up of capital in the draft, other picks, to the Bears in order to get that spot. So now if you trade that number one pick for Lamar Jackson, you don't have a lot to work with elsewhere down in that draft. And of course, that capital would be depleted because they'll have to turn like future draft picks for next year and the year after the Baltimore. So that might be the, 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 the hold up there in Carolina. Then this is very interesting. Because I think this team made the most improvement in the offseason so far. On paper, the most improved team in NFL offseason and free agency is are the Detroit Lions. And quite funny to find them on this list right here as a potential suitor for Lamar Jackson. Detroit has trended up since the arrival of head coach Dan Campbell in 2021. And they came up just short of the playoffs this past season. But going down the stretch over the last seven weeks, they, nobody wanted to play the Detroit Lions. And they made smart moves in, in both free agency and, of course, in the draft the last couple of years. And they got the draft lined up again this year. They got a, a roster that's primed for a breakthrough campaign. And Lamar Jackson would immediately vault them into the NFC's elite. He's a former MVP and he'd provide immediate upgrade over Jared Goff. And Goff has done a nice job in Detroit. But come on, who do you want? Lamar Jackson or Jared Goff? And with uh, Aaron Rodgers finally leaving the uh, NFC North, the division would be right there for Detroit to snatch and take and hold on to for several years. So you need to keep an eye right there on that Lamar Jackson situation. And there's some, there's some other teams too that you cannot forget that would be strong candidates as well in addition to Atlanta, Carolina, and Detroit. Don't forget you've got the Washington Commanders who really need a, a, a seasoned signal caller. Yeah, they like uh, Sam Howell, but guess what? Sam Howell and Jacoby Brissett are not Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson becomes in, in, and vaults Washington into contention overnight. Especially with Eric Bianna be now the uh, offensive coordinator in Washington. And don't forget the Indianapolis Colts. Okay? The Colts need a quarterback. The Colts have money. The Colts have draft picks. They could make a move. In addition to the Colts, the Tennessee Titans also have positioning. And and Jackson might be a great fit in Tennessee. He 
He, he joined a Titans offense that boasts a star running back in Derrick Henry. Some good, good, talented wide receivers who they got in the draft last year, and they're young. I don't know. Some potential there as well, but that's five potential landing spots for Lamar Jackson as those rumors continue to swirl after he requested a trade today. Now, if we look at, uh, if we continue to look at the NFL, the Jets say they're only focused on Aaron Rodgers. But I don't know about that. I don't know. You get a chance to land Lamar Jackson, you do it. You do it. Period. Um... Now I'm hearing some stuff if we switch to the NFL. Cowboys leaving the ball open for an Ezekiel Elliott return. Now, we all know Elliott put out a wish list of team he'd like to play for. I don't think he got any responses off of that list. I don't think he was, uh, he, didn't, he didn't get, uh, it wasn't well received. So much so to the point some teams twitted back and said, nah fam, we good. Like Bengals coach Zach Taylor did. Zeke said he wanted to play for the Bengals. And uh, Zach Taylor was like, no, we good. We like the way the team is, right? Progressing where it is right now. And uh, so now here come the Joneses. I don't want to ever leave him hanging or fans hanging or anybody, Jones said via Clarence Hill of the Fort Worth Telegraph Star. But I wouldn't take any possibility off the table. Elliot was willing to take a pay cut to stay, but the Cowboys never offered one. No, no, specifically no, Jones said definitively. And this is Jerry Jones, of course. Now, Tony Pollard will be back, and Ronald Jones has been signed as a backup. But could you see Zeke in there on the cheap, even though they gave away his number 21 to Stephon Gilmore today? Gilmore will be wearing 21 this upcoming season. Wow. Could Zeke be back in on the cheap? How would Cowboys fans take to that? I don't think we need Zeke back in on the cheap. I think we need to draft a young running back in a draft. And get some value for the pick. That's what I think. That's just me, though. Talking basketball, Lakers lost to the, uh, oh, God, to Patrick Beverly, okay, and the, uh, and the Chicago Bulls. They play again on Wednesday night. They lost 118 to 108 last night with the return of LeBron James. LeBron's triumphant return. And uh, had some turnovers, didn't play a lick of defense. And uh, the Lakers lost. Now, at the end of the day, he came back. He said, um, you know, he was ready to play. Didn't look so kind of gimpy. Looked like he had some issues. But apparently he came back. So we're going to get to LeBron in a second and hear from him about his comeback yesterday. I think it might be too soon. The chemistry was jamming with the Lakers. I don't think he needed to come back. I think what got to LeBron is the fact that the Lakers were making headway. Eight and five without him in the lineup. Mr. Producer. Eight and five without him in the lineup. There was a lot of buzz, a lot of talk. Well, if the Lakers keep winning like this, they can continue to rest LeBron and bring him back in the first round playoff series because they'll be way out of the eighth spot and into the seventh or the sixth spot. Well, you know how LeBron go. Don't like to see the team doing well without him. At some point, he got to get back in. He got to be in that spotlight. He got to be in... Up in that light, up in that spot, you know, up in that spotlight. One way or another, that's, that's been his way his whole entire career. If you have a tendon injury, stay out until it's completely healed, especially if your team is winning. It's bad enough you come and tilt the team the other night when you, you come off the sideline playing coach, getting critical with everybody, and cost us in a, in a meltdown situation in a game we should have won against the Mavericks. Mavericks ain't beat nobody since or before. So, here again, I think the comeback was a little premature. LeBron should have rested some more. I think the Lakers could have won that game without him. And you know Patrick Beverly's on a mission to make sure the Lakers don't get into the playoffs. Got 
pictures of Beverly running around behind LeBron, sunning him on the court, you know? It was crazy. Anyway, let's go and check out LeBron James' post-game interview from yesterday after the uh, Los Angeles Lakers and the Chicago Bulls played, uh, and the Bulls won 118 to 108. Here's LeBron. Legs, your wind, everything. How'd it feel? How'd your body feel? Uh, I felt okay. Um, obviously, you know, the rhythm is the most important. I had um, a couple, you know, drives and the ball got away from me. A couple shots didn't feel as uh, good as before, obviously, but, you know, I was out for four weeks, so um, between that and the wind, um, just got to get those things back um, leading to the final stretch of the season. What was that process like for you, the four weeks watching this team, and then as you kind of process what the next seven look like as a whole? Um, I mean, obviously, it's, uh, it sucks not being able to play, but definitely very proud of the team when I was out just watching them just compete at a high level, playing the game the right way, uh, playing, you know, Laker basketball, and the guys, um, you know, put us in position to be able to, to uh, um, go down the stretch and, and, and be able to put ourselves in the playoff position. So, um, <clears throat> that was fun to see. Well, what was the injury you're dealing with? The injury I was dealing with? I tore a tendon in my foot. And that's normally longer than a four week recovery process. It is. When, when did you get a sense of you, you would have a, a plan to get you back faster than, than what the normal kind of uh, routine is? Um, when the doctors told me I was uh, healing faster than anybody I've seen before with the injury. And how do you feel like um, you'll be able to manage it with the final seven regular season games plus whatever comes out to that? Um, just day to day, obviously. Um, <clears throat> the most important for me is Monday morning um, when I wake up tomorrow and step, step out of the bed um, and see what happens you know, with that. But I felt confident in the workouts that I had this week. Um, and the day after the workouts, when I woke up, I you know, stepped down off the bed um, that I could um, possibly play today. And after my workout earlier before the game, I knew I could play today um, just from the, the long week that I had. But you know, we'll see what happens. Bron, what were the three days like? And mentally, how important was it for you to come back with eight games left? You know, it wasn't how many games. It was just, you know, I can come back when I felt comfortable to be able to explode and run and jump and, you know, and not second guess myself being out on the floor, especially at this level, you know. Um, so, um, you know, my days are started in the morning and, and around dinner time, around 7 o'clock at night, um, you know, uh, from, from rehab to training to treatment to do it all over again and then do it all over again. So uh, I'm going to try to put myself and my body and, you know, um, the best possible chance to be able to come back before uh, the end of the regular season or before the end of the season period, even if we didn't make the playoffs. Uh, LeBron, I think everyone here is typically used to, if you're questionable, well, you're, you're probably, right, you? probably going to play. But was there anything in that pregame warm-up? I know you finished with a couple dunks. Um, you were you're moving a little bit, driving a little bit. Was there anything you were looking for to make sure, okay, th uh, this is good to go before I, I play today, or was it all pretty set? No, it wasn't. It's mostly most of the takeoff and landing, um, you know, exploding, um, things of that nature. And so um, uh, I could do that. I was, felt confident I could play. Did anyone ever suggest surgery? Um, yeah, two doctors. Why did you decide against it? Because I went to LeBron James of feet, and he told me I should. <laughs> the, um, did any well, well, hold on now. If you went to the feet, seeing how you four and six in the finals, LeBron, maybe you need to seek a third or fourth opinion because maybe he's going to give you some boo-boo uh, diagnosis in your, in your foot. You, you ever notice I'm Mr. Producer, though? But I should have had surgery. Two surgeons told me to have surgery, but I didn't because I'm LeBron. And I, shut up, man. You wasn't playing no defense, and you look like you got issues with your foot. Didn't look like you was helping that team too much to me last night. But that's a different story for another show. We got Peter chimed in. And Peter, I appreciate you, man, because I know I reached out to you. Let's break down this Lamar Jackson. We got Rich Eisen with the latest updates for the Final Ten going home. But Lamar Jackson is definitely out of Baltimore. Where do you think he ends up? Peter, unmute yourself, Peter. You've muted yourself. You're now a mutant. I apologize. I apologize. So um, you, real quick, where do you see Lamar Jackson ending up, bro? I, I, first of all, I, I wanted Lamar. I still want Lamar to stay in Baltimore. So I'm very sad that he's leaving. If that's what, that's what happened. Well, it looks really like, wanted, it looks like it's done now. 
when you got Meek Mill tweeting to Robert Kraft saying Lamar Jackson wants to play for the Patriots, it's pretty much done. You have, um, it's just such a tragedy. I mean, if you look at the way not to handle this this type of situation, this is a playbook of how not to do it. You know, like Tim Allen of Home Improvement, how not to build anything. This is that. But I'll be honest with you, Baltimore, if they do make the trade, say to a Carolina, would put themselves in a perfect position to retool with a, with a young quarterback. I don't think they get Carolina because he doesn't fit what, um, what, what, uh, what does they want to do? Uh, the coach Frank Wright wants to do. They had a, a quarterback s- similar in terms of athletically gifted, but just at, not great at, in Frosting and Carson Wentz. Atlanta's and another also, option. It's, 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 yeah, he's just not the guy. And the Lions have two first round picks. Right, and Atlanta's another option too. They got picks okay. and they got they got they got actual talent there that could help. Right, Atlanta's a possibility. Kyle Pitts and Drake uh, London. Houston. Houston has two first round picks. Yeah, right? Houston. I, I didn't see Houston in, in that conversation. I saw Indianapolis. I saw Detroit. I saw Carolina was definitely in, in the conversation. Um, Indianapolis um, is another one. Not Indianapolis, but but see, here's the here's the, the factor here that that kind of kills the whole thing. You have to be willing to change your entire offense for him. So then you get into who was willing to do that. Detroit right? would probably be the quickest one. Campbell would probably do it. They're so desperate. They're like Deshaun Watson desperate. I think you're right. Atlantic is because remember, Atlanta was about to get Deshaun Watson and all that baggage. So they're desperate too. Because if no one there thinks Desmond Ritter is the uh, is the uh, is the is the future. He's, Desmond Ritter is the, the backup for, for the next franchise quarterback. Right. He's a he's a good guy. He's the he's your Nick Foles guy. Come in when need him, but he's not. He's a Gardner Minshew without the right without the without the fun. Without the Fu Manchu. You're right. But you know, if you have a chance to start Desmond Ritter or start Lamar Jackson, I think you go with Lamar. Plus, remember, the people of Atlanta were crazy for Michael Vick. Right? So they're already Okay. Boy, you could say that I'm crazy with Michael. Like, half loved him and the other half wanted to lynch him. I'm telling you. <laughs> I agree. I agree. But the half that loved him has got more money now than they did back then, right? But they're like, hey, you know what? This is our guy. We're okay if we don't win a Super Bowl with him. I'm not saying that they don't, but they do. But we want exciting play. You know? And who knows? He could win a Super Bowl in Atlanta. I'm just saying that he's going to be a little bit more forgiving of... What he can't do very well at this stage, because they had Michael Vick, and they're like, "Hey, a running quarterback could get it done," and it just the stages are is already set. It's like, um, I'll give an example. It's like uh, in Dallas, if you bring, if let's say you guys draft a running back from Texas, who I think would be a great fit in Dallas, the stages are already set because of the great tradition of Emmitt Smith and Dickerson and everybody else. So you're walking into a franchise that's like, "Hey, they're very running back friendly." The Atlanta franchise. The Van, sorry, the, the, the Dallas Cowboy fans are very running back friendly. The Atlanta Falcons fans are very running quarterback friendly. You know? So, I think it could work. Come back in Atlanta, too. And the pieces that you have, the Drake London and then uh, Kyle Pitts, that helps. You got the, the running back by committee with Cordero Parson. They got draft picks. They got cap money. They're mm-hmm. the number seven team under the cap right now, so they could spend. I'm thinking if I were them, I would go all in for Lamar. If I were Atlanta or Detroit, I would go all in for Lamar right now. I think I, th- I think you go for not only now the, the holdup. I think he's going to find is the contract. They're not going to give you 250 million dollar guaranteed. You're not going to get a quarter million dollar billion dollars guaranteed. No one's going to do that. It's not going to happen. It only happened for Deshaun Watson, and it's never going to happen again. Correct. So then. The irony here is that he wants out of Baltimore, and I think he ends up with a very similar contract that Baltimore offered. Right? So you're not going to really... So what are you really gaining out of the deal? I think it's going to come down to him. Do you want to... Because the contract's going to be identical. Baltimore gave him a great offer. Five years, you get 200 million guaranteed within the first three years. That's a great offer. That's a great offer. Right? 205 million over the the, 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 the contract could, could be 2, 240 million, I think. 245 million over the whole contract if you get all the incentives. But you're going to you're guaranteed at least $200 million in cash in your account in the first three years. And then 
you know, you got the, the last two years and however that plays out. But do you hit the incentives? We don't know. But do you still get 200, 200 million in the first three years? Well, I, I agree. Independent of how the team plays. But all you got to do is play. And it wasn't, it, the, the contract was not tied to a minimum of 10 games. It wasn't. It just says if you sign this and if you're on the roster at the beginning of the third season, like you're on the roster. You got this March, money. Right, March 16th, the new league year, you're going to guarantee between when you sign this contract on March 16th, going into the end of the second season, going into the third season, you get $200 million in your account. And he said no. And now, that's but, why Obi Roberts was like, Lamont must be a crazy man because that's a great offer. That is a good offer. But with all the options coming up right now as we get to the break, and I appreciate you chiming in, short notice, and offering the insight. But I think he's gone, Peter. I think you, you agree. I think Lamont is out of Baltimore. Yeah. Once you tweet, I want to trade. Yeah, and you and you wash you and you scrub your social media. That. Remember, Roquan Smith in Chicago. Ah, said I wanted to be ah, and bingo. DM said, I love Roquan Smith. I love him. He's going to grow with this team. You know, he fits. He's just fantastic. He's the best football player on our team. Yeah, and, uh, and he's a dog. And he's out of there now. But anyway, as soon as Baltimore said, "Hey, we, we got we got this. We got this second round pick." And just you know, he was gone. Up. Second round pick. So sure. We'll see when the minds up. It's all coming up on the flip side of the break. I appreciate you. We'll talk again tomorrow, Peter. Uh, Mr. Producer, you know, get us to the break. On the flip side of the break, Rich Eisen will take us home. Good stuff, everybody who chimed in the first hour and the second hour. We'll see you right here tomorrow on the Tuesday, March 28th edition of Talking Heads. Right here on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Be good, Bahamas. And if you can't be good, be good at it. When I got prostate cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live at Cancer Treatment Center in Central America. Within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options. And they set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there are no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number. They see you as a part of the family. I'm going on with my life. That's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. George, shoes and accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy styles. We cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online. www.johnshoes.com John's also now carry small all home appliances. So come on in today at John's where we put fashion at your feet. Experience the pure deliciousness of Dunkin's Glazed Donut Breakfast Sandwich. This sweet and savory breakfast treat stacks a fluffy egg and smoked bacon sandwiched inside a split classic Dunkin' Glazed Donut. Make it a combo with lightly seasoned hash browns and your favorite freshly brewed Dunkin' coffee. Stop by your favorite Dunkin' today and take breakfast to a fun and tasty level with the Dunkin' Glazed Breakfast Sandwich. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. People, what you thinking? We want something different. Uh-huh. People, what you wanting? We want local government. I can tell them no more smoking. We want the function. I can tell them no more joke. <laughs> I forgot. Gone down Blue Hill Road. Gone down Village Road. Gone down Nassau Road. We want local government. We want local government. We, we want local government. Shut up. We want local government. We got call for local government. Sign the petition and find out more information at risebahamas.net. Play with Island Games. We making dreams come true. Play with Island Games. We paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market. You get cash in your pocket. Island Games is spicy and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games. we put in Bahamian's voice. Guaranteed to play Island Games. We like them mother jokers. We've been here from the start. From the bike to computer. Island Games. We can make your dream come true. We playing with Island Games. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Want to reach your Grand Bahama customers? Then call Barefoot Marketing at 827-4578 or message them for ad rates via their Facebook page. Advertising opportunities now include classified ads too. Keep up with all the latest Grand Bahama news in the Nassau Guardian newspaper every Tuesday. 
absolutely nobody. Jerry Judy. So he's like, we're not trading him. So all those people that are thinking we can get him, you're not getting him unless you give me what you need, what we need. So that may be what's playing out right here. But I wouldn't be surprised if one of them gets flipped before the draft. They're looking, they, they see the talent that's out there and they, they, they want to pop in there instead of paying one of these guys uh, top of the level market value that they might be uh, heading towards. So that's my take on that right now. It could be the best uh, wide receiver QB trio in the AFC West. Oh my goodness, this guy over there. Okay. The other teams don't have a second receiver. Well, who's the number one receiver? The, wide the, receiver. Keenan Allen in and, and, City. and Mike, Mike Williams, who was drop he just played moments ago um, with Justin Herbert. Yeah, they were trying to, they were rumored to be maybe cutting what, Keenan Allen. What if D Hop shows up in Kansas City? Don't put that out there. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Okay. Who's now to talk? Uh, now allowed to talk to him directly. You see that? Why not, man? Go for it. Let's see it. That's gonna be fun. Hey, did you see this interesting uh, Seattle Seahawks news over the weekend? Bobby Wagner's back. Fence mended. Back. Love it. They got a top five pick. Gino, Bobby Wagner back. Seahawks. Whatever it is, whatever it is you're saying, I'm in. <laughs> Winning the <laughs> NFC West. Oh, okay. I don't think that's an overreaction. I don't think that's an overreaction at all. I think that they're going to be improved. They're going to be better. They're going to draft well. They got a very high draft choice. I like it. I don't think they're, by the way, they're talking to every single quarterback. Today's Anthony Richardson's pro day, isn't it? It is. You know, we haven't heard much about it. I yet. haven't heard much about that. Maybe it's later on today. I don't know. But uh, I like Seattle a lot. I don't think that's an overreaction at all. You know, the Rams are not rebuilding. They say they're going for it. Did you see uh, my buddy Kevin Demoff's letter to everybody? Yeah. Did you read between the lines of that oh, letter? Oh, please. I saw what Damashek had to <laughs> I say mean, about what, it do you, what do you mean? It's like Great. Oh, in clear Fine. black and white. Got it. <laughs> you keep sleeping on the Rams. You think they're tanking. They're not tanking. Oh, I man. like the Seahawks, though. I like what you're putting together right there. I like what you're saying. I don't think, let's put it this way, I don't think it's an overreaction to say that at all. Yeah, I mean, I just... Consider mm -hmm. where they were a year ago. Yep. Uh, okay, a little hoops now, guys. By the way, you're doing a great job for somebody that you think you had to pull these out of your orifice. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I just wanted I wanted the bar low so you could compliment me. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how about this? Lakers, right? Yes. You know, the Lakers. Way, great setup. Lakers, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> Am I right? Am I, I don't right? know. I don't know where this is going. Uh -huh. You see, he was back. You see, he was back in the lineup yesterday. LeBron. LeBron. You see what happened? They lost. Lakers are better, better without, without LeBron. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Playoff push. So stupid. They were awesome You're without LeBron. I'm complimenting him. I'm complimenting him. They, they were with awesome so without LeBron. Too soon. So dumb. You spoke too soon. Austin Reeves <laughs> balling. You should have just waited one LeBron more. LeBron comes back. <laughs> loss. By the way, also, does he think he's Wolverine? Did you hear these comments about his foot? Hey, I went to two doctors. They were surprised how fast I healed. They said surgery. I said, ha, ah, no surgery. I'm healed. Dude, are you, why don't you just come in in the black suit wearing the, the devil's amulet or whatever the hell Skip wears around his neck? Skip on it. Whatever. So you just come and dress like him when you talk about LeBron. I'm not, but I can't help it when he says such ridiculous things all the time. Well, it's just as ridiculous to say the Lakers are better off without him. Well, they were awesome, and then he came back and they won. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know what I don't know why I need the to The ultimate you. overreaction. One game I'm going to make. A s ridiculous blanket statement. Sneak in one more. What else you got? Lucas should demand a trade. Uh. Like, get out of here. Like, get out of here. This summer, I'm out. <laughs> demand a trade. Hey, Mark. Uh, get Go me out full. here. Get Go. I'm out. We know he's going full Lamar if he's going to start selling his own portable gym with a shake oh, weight. Portable hookah. <laughs> this is portable hookah. Like, <laughs> I'm out. The Luca? The, you can Luca's call it portable. the Luca? Yeah. The Luca. Luca's Luca's hookah. Hookah. One, one photograph in San Francisco, <laughs> you're painting it as a whole huge brush, man. Get out of here. You should demand a trade from Dallas. It's not working. Oh, could you imagine Luca's if that happens? Luca. Could what you if imagine? What the Knicks? Oh, then he should demand it. Exactly. <laughs> well, you're not a Knicks fan anyway, so what do you care? Uh, it's funny. Cooper is looking at me every now and then and goes, you're liking the Knicks again, aren't you, Dad? And I'm like, how do you how do you watch Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle play and not love what you see? How? 
Because if you look down right. the front row and you no, see I understand the guy that, with that the, 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 the guy in the beard, the schmecky, uh, <laughs> the schmeck, the schmecky yeah. schmeckster who's facial ex- recognizing everybody, <laughs> facially recognizing everybody to boot them out. Just, just sitting there like, 